My parents let me out of the the inheritance, but I uncovered the family secrets they'd been hiding for years. I, 28F, come from a family of four siblings. There's me, my older sister, Emma, 32F, my younger brother, Elijah, 25M, and our youngest sister, Grace, 23F. Our parents, both in their early 60s, have always been successful business owners. They built a single small diner when they were in their 20s. Over the years, they expanded to multiple locations across our state, and we grew up comfortably because of it. Growing up, Emma was always the golden child. She excelled in school, was captain of the debate team, and went on to an Ivy League college where she studied law. Now she's a successful corporate lawyer in a big city firm. Elijah followed in our parents' footsteps and started working at the family business right out of high school. So he began as a busboy and worked his way up to one of the restaurants. Grace is still in college, studying business management with plans to join the family business after graduation. My interest in social work started in high school when I volunteered at a local shelter. And to your same, I saw firsthand how much of a difference dedicated social workers could make in people's lives, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. My parents never openly criticized my choice, but I could tell they were disappointed I didn't go into a more lucrative field like my siblings. Our family dynamics have always been a bit complicated. Emma, being the oldest, often took charge and acted more like a third parent than a sister. She and I used to be close when we were younger, but we drifted apart as she became more focused on her career. Elijah and I have a decent relationship, but he's always been more interested in the business side of things, which isn't really my fort. Um, Grace and I are probably the closest, maybe because we're closer in age or because she's more empathetic than the others. On their mere year, so last month, our parents called a family meeting. They said they wanted to discuss their will and how they planned to divide their, their assets when they passed. I thought it would be a straightforward conversation, but it turned into a nightmare. But I mean, we're, we all gathered at our parents' house on a Sunday afternoon. Um, Mom had made her famous lasagna, and we had a nice family dinner before the meeting part began. Everything seemed normal until Dad cleared his throat and said, We need to talk about the future of the family and the business. They announced that, that they were planning to leave 40% of their estate to Emma, 30% to Elijah, 20% to Grace, and only 10% to me. So their reasoning. Emma and Elijah were more financially responsible and had contributed more to the family legacy. Grace was getting a larger share than me because she was still in school and would need the money to establish herself. I was shocked. I asked them why they thought this was fair, and they said that since I chose a lower-paying career, I didn't need as much. So they also mentioned that I hadn't shown as much interest in the family business as my siblings had. And sadly, so my siblings had. Dad even said, You've always done your own thing, sweetie. We respect that, but we need to think about the future of the business, too. I tried to explain that just because I chose a different career doesn't mean I don't deserve an equal share. Um, I've always been there for our family, and I've worked hard in my field. As I told them about the long hours I put in at the community center, the nights I've spent helping troubled teens, and the families I've helped keep together. He says, I'm days them to say and did you get the galbercores I've had as these issues about it and I've got the searing touch service that is the starways, but they wouldn't budge. What hurt even more was that my siblings seemed to agree with our parents. Emma said she deserved more because she had sacrificed so much for her career. She talked about the long nights at the office and how she had put off starting a family to focus on work. Elijah argued that he had been working in the family business for years, so he deserved a larger share. He said, a larger share. Deserved shared ashing siam. Elijah Arger shared the after what of the life the balance the of the year cell. He mentioned how he had worked his way up from the bottom and knew the business inside out. But even Grace stayed quiet, not standing up for me at all. I left the meeting feeling betrayed and undervalued. Since then, the atmosphere in our family has been tense. My siblings are acting like nothing's wrong, but I can't pretend this isn't happening. Um, Emma keeps sending me links to financial planning websites, as if that's the issue. As Omar, Elijah has been talking nonstop about his plans to expand the business, which feels like he's rubbing salt in the wound. That Grace has been avoiding me, probably feeling guilty for not speaking up. I've tried talking to each of them individually, but they all seem to think the division is fair. Emma even suggested that I should be grateful for getting anything at all, which made me so angry I had to end the conversation. She said something like, look, we all made our choices. You chose a noble profession, but you knew it wouldn't pay well. You can't have it both ways. Elijah was a little more sympathetic, but still defended our parents' decision. He said, I get that you're upset, but think about it from their perspective. They built this business from nothing. So they want to make sure it stays in the family and keeps growing. You've never shown any interest in being part of that. Grace was the only one who seemed to understand how I felt, but even she didn't offer to give up any of her share. She just said, I'm sorry, sis. I wish there was something I could do. I don't know what to do. On one hand, I know that our parents have the right to divide their assets however they want. Um, but on the other hand, this feels so unfair and hurtful. 
I feel like I'm being punished for choosing a career that helps people instead of chasing money. E. I'm considering talking to a lawyer to see if there's anything I can do, but I'm worried that we'll only make things worse with my family. I'm also thinking about just walking away from all of it, the money and the family drama, but that feels like letting them win. The whole situation has made me question a lot of things about my family and my place in it. I've always been proud of my work, but now I find myself wondering if I made the right choice. Inet, should I have joined the family business? Should I have chosen a more lucrative career? Um, Kari, I know in my heart that I'm doing meaningful work, but it's hard not to second-guess myself when my own family seems to value money over everything else. I've also been thinking a lot about my childhood and wondering if there were signs I missed. I, yes, be recycled every to Jane. So was I always the outsider in the family? I remember times when my parents seemed proud of me, like when I won a community service award in high school, or when I got my master's in social work. To met now, I'm wondering if they were just putting on a show. This whole situation has brought up a lot of old memories and feelings. I remember when I was 10, and I wanted to quit soccer to join the school's community service club. My parents weren't thrilled, but they let me do it. At the time, I thought they were being supportive, but now I wonder if that was the beginning of me becoming the different one in the family. I'm also worried about how this will affect our family in the long run. Will we be able to have normal family gatherings after this? Will I always feel like the odd one out at Christmas dinners and birthday parties? The thought of losing my family over money makes me sick, but I also don't know if I can just accept being treated this way. Has anyone been in a similar situation? How did you handle it? I'm lost and could really use some advice. Um, how do you stand up for yourself without burning bridges? Is there a way to make my family understand how hurtful this is without seeming greedy? Any thoughts or suggestions would be appreciated. Update 1 I want to thank everyone who responded to my original post. Your advice and support meant a lot to me during this difficult time. A lot has happened in the past two weeks, and I felt I needed to update you all. Bull. After reading your comments, I decided to have one more conversation with my parents before taking any drastic steps. I asked for a private meeting with just the three of us, without my siblings present. They agreed, and we met at their house last weekend. I spent days preparing for this conversation. I made lists of talking points, practiced what I wanted to say, and even role-played the conversation with a friend. I was determined to keep my cool and express myself clearly. When I arrived at their house, it felt strange. So is the home I grew up in, but suddenly it felt unfamiliar. Mom had made her famous apple pie, which I usually love, but the smell just made me feel nauseous. So we sat in a living room, the same room where they had dropped the bombshell about the inheritance two weeks ago. I started by explaining how hurt I was by their decision and how it made me feel undervalued as their child. I brought up specific memories of times I had been there for the family even if it wasn't in a financial capacity. I talked about the emotional support I'd given during tough times, like when dad had his health scare five years ago, and I took time off work to help out at home. I mentioned how I'd helped care for my grandparents in their final years spending weekends at their house so mom and dad could have a break. I reminded them of the times I'd stepped in to babysit for Emma's kids or helped Elijah move into his new apartment. I also talked about my work and why it was important to me. I told them about Maria, a single mom I'd helped get back on her feet after she left an abusive relationship. I told them about the group therapy sessions I run for teenagers struggling with addiction and how rewarding it is to see them make progress. I wanted them to understand that even if I wasn't making as much money as my siblings, my work had value. To my surprise, my parents actually listened. They didn't interrupt or try to defend themselves. Nothing just funny when Mark starts him to cry me arrow. So they just let me talk. When I finished, there was a long silence. Then mom started to cry. She admitted they hadn't considered how their decision would impact me emotionally. She said, we never meant to make you feel less valuable. We're proud of the work you do. Um, dad was quieter, but he nodded along with mom. He said, we may not always understand your choices, but we know you have a good heart. So maybe we've been too focused on the business and not enough on what really matters. I started to feel hopeful. Maybe they were finally understanding my perspective. But then dad cleared his throat and said, there's something we need to tell you. And just like that, the atmosphere in the room changed. He revealed that there was another reason for the unequal division that they hadn't mentioned before. But apparently, a few years ago, they had given me a large sum of money that I had completely forgotten about. It turns out that when I was 24, I had a major health scare. I needed a series of expensive treatments that weren't fully covered by insurance. My parents had paid for everything, which amounted to about $200,000. They had considered this in advance on my inheritance. I was stunned. I vaguely remembered the health issue, but I had no idea the treatments had cost that much or that my parents had paid for it all. I had been so focused on getting better at the time that I guess I never really thought about the financial aspect. As the information sunk in, I felt a mix of emotions. I was grateful that they had been there for me during a difficult time. So, but I was also confused and a little angry. Why hadn't they mentioned this during the family meeting? 
Why let me feel so hurt and betrayed if there was a logical explanation? I asked them these questions, and their answers were not entirely satisfying. Mom said they didn't want to bring up my health issues in front of my siblings out of respect for my privacy. Dad admitted that they should have handled it differently, but said they thought I remembered the financial arrangement. No. So we talked for hours after that. I shared my frustration about the lack of communication. So they apologized for not being upfront about the medical expenses and agreed that they should have handled the whole situation better. So they said they were proud of my career choice and the work I do, even if they don't always understand it. In the end, we came to a compromise. They agreed to adjust the percentages slightly, giving me 15% instead of 10%. It just sent. So more importantly, they promised to be more transparent about financial matters in the future and make sure all the siblings understood the full picture. I left feeling better about the situation, but also conflicted. On one hand, I was relieved to know there was a logical explanation for the unequal division. Um, on the other hand, I was upset that this information had been withheld initially, causing so much unnecessary pain and family tension. So now I'm faced with a new dilemma. Should I tell my siblings about the medical expenses? Part of me feels they deserve to know the full story, but another part worries it might just create more drama. Emma and Elijah might feel resentful that so much money was spent on me, even though it was for a medical emergency. I'm also struggling with feelings of guilt. Should I have remembered or known about the medical expenses? So was I careless or irresponsible for not keeping track of that? I've always prided myself on being independent, and now I feel like I've unknowingly been relying on my parents' financial support. So this whole situation has made me realize how little I know about my family's finances. I've always been focused on my work and my own life, and I never really thought about the details of my parents' estate or how they managed their money. Maybe I should have been paying more attention. I'm still processing everything and trying to figure out my next steps. Should I push for even more transparency for my parents? Should I involve my siblings in these discussions? Or should I just accept the new arrangement and try to move on? Part of me wants to just walk away from the whole inheritance issue. My work has always been about helping people, not accumulating wealth. But another part of me feels like that would be letting my family off the hook for their poor communication and unequal treatment. I'm also worried about how this might affect my relationship with my siblings in the long run. If I tell them about the medical expenses, will they understand or will it just create more resentment? If I don't tell them, am I perpetuating the lack of transparency that caused this whole mess in the first place? Any advice on how to move forward would be greatly appreciated. How do I balance being honest with my siblings and respecting my parents' wishes? How do I deal with my own feelings of guilt and confusion? And how do I make sure something like this doesn't happen again in the future? Update 2, I can't believe I'm writing another update so soon, but things have taken an unexpected turn, and I need to get this off my chest. After my last update, I decided to be transparent with my siblings about the medical expenses, so I figured it was better for them to hear it from me than potentially find Tang out later and feeling like I had hidden it from them. I wanted to clear the air and hopefully move past all this drama. I set up a video call with Emma, Elijah, and Grace. I was nervous about how they would react, but I felt it was the right thing to do. I explained everything, the conversation with our parents, the revelation about the medical expenses, and the slight adjustment to the inheritance percentages. So their reactions were not what I expected. Emma, ever the lawyer, immediately started questioning the legality of considering the medical expenses as an advance on inheritance. She argued that since it was a health emergency, it shouldn't cancy, fam, it's my share. Um, neither boy. She even suggested that our parents might have been manipulating me by bringing it up now. Um, first you complained about not getting an equal share, and now we find out you've already gotten a huge payout. How is that fair? He demanded. He said I should be grateful for what I was getting and stop trying to scam more out of the family. His words hurt, especially since I had been nothing but honest. Grace surprised me the most. She revealed that she had known about the medical expenses all along. Apparently, she had overheard our parents discussing it years ago but had been sworn to secrecy. She apologized for not telling me sooner and said she had always felt guilty about it. I'm so sorry, she said, tears in her eyes. I wanted to tell you, but mom and dad made me promise not to. The cult evolved into a shouting match. Emma and Elijah were arguing with each other and with me. Grace was crying and I was trying desperately to explain that I wasn't trying to manipulate anyone. It was a mess. After the call ended, I felt worse than ever. But the drama wasn't over. The next day, I received a barrage of texts from extended family members, aunts, uncles, cousins. Somehow, the news had spread and everyone seemed to have an opinion. Some were sympathetic to me, others accused me of being greedy, and a few even suggested I should give up my entire inheritance since I had already taken so much from the family. I was overwhelmed and felt like my private family matter had suddenly become public gossip. I didn't know who had spread the information, but I suspected it was Elijah, given how angry he had been. To make matters worse, our parents got wind of the drama. They called me, furious that I had told my siblings about the medical kill expense. Um, so they said they had wanted to keep that private and accused me of stirring up trouble in the family. So dad was especially upset, saying, 
We trusted you to handle this maturely, and now you've turned it into a circus. I tried to explain that I was just trying to be honest and transparent, but they wouldn't listen. Um, so they threatened to reduce my inheritance even further if I didn't fix the situation. Mom said, we're trying to be fair to everyone, but you're making it very difficult. Other Renee sings you see to carry to assess the currently a beast at the wish shame, and I'm sickened, a bit of a salt in to speak hard of why I resolved. So I felt like I was being punished for trying to do the right thing. The whole situation has become a mess. Emma keeps sending me links to legal websites about inheritance laws. But Elijah has stopped speaking to me altogether. Grace calls me crying every other day, feeling caught in the middle of everything. I feel like I'm drowning in family drama that I never wanted. My attempt to be honest has backfired spectacularly, and now I'm being villainized by the very people I was trying to make peace with. And he's a cherubi, the fees of Sakibur, the chief. I'm at a loss. My relationship with my entire family feels broken, and I don't know if it can ever be repaired. But part of me wants to walk away from all of it, the money, the family, everything. And, but another part of me feels like that would be letting them win and admitting to wrongdoing when I don't believe I've done anything wrong. They see. I'm considering seeking legal advice, not necessarily to fight for more inheritance, but to protect myself from potential fallout. I'm worried that this whole situation could escalate further, and I want to make sure I'm prepared. I'm also thinking about taking a step back from my family for a while to protect my mental health. Though people are amazed, I'm quite like defibly in mental health. The stress of all this is starting to affect my work, and I need to focus on my clients who rely on me. Um, so has anyone dealt with a family fallout like this? How do you handle it when trying to be honest blows up in your face? Near do you dig your feet cock games with their students and pay three see for simple a day some time. So frosty per I'd one dealt with a family five. Should I try to make amends or is it better to distance myself for now? Any advice on how to handle this mess would be greatly appreciated. I feel like I'm in way over my head. Update three. It's been a while since my last update and a lot has changed. I wanted to share what's happened and where things stand now. After the fallout from my last update, I decided to take a step back from my family. I told them I needed space and time to think, and I went low contact for several months. During this time, I focused on my work and my own mental health. I started seeing a counselor to help me process everything that had happened. About two months into my self-imposed distance, I received an unexpected call from Grace. She was upset and needed someone to talk to. It turned out that in the aftermath of our family drama, she had started digging into our family's financial history out of curiosity. What she found shocked both of us. Apparently, our parents had been giving Emma and Elijah loans for years, substantial amounts to help with Emma's law school debt, and to support Elijah's attempts to start his own business ventures. These loans had nebulous repayment terms and seemed more like gifts. Grace had found this information in some old family financial documents our parents had carelessly left accessible. This revelation put everything in a new light. The unequal inheritance wasn't just about my medical expenses or my career choice. Our parents had been playing favorites financially for years. I was angry, but also oddly relieved. It felt validating to know that my feelings of being undervalued hadn't been entirely in my head. Grace and I decided to confront our parents together. We had a long, difficult conversation where we laid out everything we knew and asked for honesty. Our parents were initially defensive, but eventually admitted to the additional financial support they'd given Emma and Elijah. They tried to justify it by saying they were investments in their futures, but we didn't buy it. We insisted on a family meeting with all siblings present. It was tense and emotional, but ultimately productive. Emma and Elijah were forced to admit to the extra financial help they'd received, so our parents apologized for their lack of transparency and admitted that their handling of family finances had been unfair. After much discussion and negotiation, we came to a new agreement. The inheritance would be split equally four ways, with adjustments made for the loans and my medical expenses. Our parents also agreed to be more transparent about financial matters going forward. The result isn't perfect, but it's fairer than where we started. My relationships with Emma and Elijah are still strained, but we're working on rebuilding trust. Grace and I have grown closer through this ordeal. As for me, I've learned a lot about standing up for myself and the importance of financial literacy. I'm still working as a social worker, but I've started taking some finance classes in my free time to better understand and manage my own money. I'm not sure our family will ever be the same, but I'm cautiously optimistic that we can build something new and healthier. I'm proud of myself for not backing down and for fighting for what was fair even when it was hard. Thank you to everyone who offered advice and support throughout this journey. Your words help me more than you know.